Hello, this is CS11, a discussion and solutions for lab number 9. Remember that lab number 9 was to write a program that receives string input and determines if that input starts with your name in any case. Now, I mentioned that this problem involved putting together several things that you knew, like for example, getting the length of a string, or using the substring to get a portion of a string, and using a loop, such as a for loop, and also at least one thing that you didn't know how to do that you were going to have to look up. And that particular thing was to change the case of a letter or string from uppercase to lowercase. And that was the hint um, that I gave you about the CC type library. How, by the way, can you turn a hint like that uh, or a question into a an answer? One thing that you can do if you know the name of the library is if you use your search engine and search for the keyword C++ along with the name of the library, you're almost certain to find a reference to it. Now, unlike Java, there is no official documentation for C++ online. So uh, one site here, c++.com, is not official, and they have information about C++ and probably generate ad revenue or something like that to, to pay for it. I'll go ahead and click on that. And here we can see are some functions in this library. CC type, the first C tells you that this library is originally from the C programming language. The second C stands for character. And so this is a library that has to deal with characters. And these functions can be used to examine a character to tell you what kind of character it is. And then down here we see two lower and two upper. And so these functions can convert a character, either a standalone character or a character in a string, either to upper or lower case. Another way to track down solutions, once again, is to use the keyword C++ and then some kind of version of the question you're looking for. How do I lowercase a string? And if you search for something like this, what you would find after um, reading, for example, here's some conversation at the site Stack Overflow, which is a wonderful site for discussing programming questions. And one of my favorite sites for that, and one that I recommend, you would find, if you look through this discussion, that there is no easy way to do it. Good Lord, look at that. This is a big difference between C++ and Java. In Java, if you have a string, there's a command that you can call that just says make this whole string lowercase. But there's nothing like that in C++. What we're going to have to do is write a loop and individually lowercase each of the characters in the string. That's another difference. So Java has got official documentation online and C++ doesn't. Also, Java has a more friendly string class, one that has more capabilities. All right, let's pound include cc type. We're going to need several variables. Add my name. I'll start it off in lowercase. And I'll create a name size variable. By doing this, instead of having name size just equal 5, if we decide to change the name, we won't have to count the characters or edit any other portion of the program other than just the name. All right, let's add a string variable called input. That'll be the input that we type in. And I'm going to add a second string variable called input front. It'll be the front name size characters from, from the input. Output a prompt. Please input a string. And line. I'll go ahead and use get line so that we can get the whole line of their input. Input. What I want to do next is to get the first characters. So input front is going to equal the input dot substring starting at the beginning of name size. Let's talk a little bit about making our programs more robust. Starting with this program and then going forward later into this semester, it would be really nice if our programs were less fragile. 
Now notice this substring command here gets the first five characters from what you type in. Now we haven't written the rest of the program yet, but what if the user enters fewer than five characters? Might that crash our program if we assume that there's going to be five characters in there? Perhaps we want or need to check that. Let's put a note in here. Note may need to check that input length is greater than name size. Okay, and then we'll run and test the rest of our program, and if it works, then we'll know that we didn't need that check. But this is the kind of thing that we want to start thinking about. Now what we need to do is convert this string here to lowercase so that we can compare it against the name. All right, and i equals zero. i is less than name size i plus plus and here we can say input front i equals to lower input front i okay so to each position in that string we're going to assign to it the lowercase version of that same character. So that'll have the effect of converting the entire string into lowercase. Let's compile and run this program so far. Okay. All right, well, we ran several tests. Looks, looks okay so far, even though I expected it was going to crash. Okay, let's recompile and run. And it says it matches and it doesn't match. Now, this operation here is a little bit on the unsafe side. And that's because here we're assigning here to positions that don't exist if the string is too short. Instead of using name size here, we can make the program a little bit more reliable if we use input front dot size. Now the size of input front could be name size, but it might be less if there are fewer characters in there. And if we do that, then our program will be a little bit safer. Here, instead of name size, let's say input front dot size. Okay, and let's recompile and run. And it says it matches, and we'll put in something else. And notice it won't match these other inputs. Okay, so it looks like that that was enough to prevent any errors. All right, let's take out a blank line so I can show you the whole program at once. And there's the entire program, our solution to lab number nine. Thank you.